But I am a scientist. You can, you're conducting a scientific experiment. Well, I can help you at scientific experiments. Well, oh, don't, don't need it, it's fine. Well, I've got loads of science qualifications. Well, I've got an A in physics. Well, I've got an A in chemistry. Well, I've got an A in maths. <laughs> All facts. Mm. Stay in school, kids. Eh? What's your qualifications? Heritage. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. I am a scientist. I am a scientist. Are you, though? Yes, really? I am. What are you? I am an scientist. Right, well, join us for more science right after Wait For It. Put the thumb over to win. Not, none of this even Not works. Ten. None of this even works. Hey, Stupid dog, dog has yeah. ruined everything. <laughs>
You can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So, for example, if you buzz in at seven seconds, get the question right, you bag yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, then your opponents will get seven points. There are ten questions in this round, and you each have three lives, so it's really important to use them wisely. Remember, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. All right. Round one, question one. Tim, let's have it, please. I'm a physical feeling or sensation. People try to do this to you to get you to laugh, sometimes uncontrollably. You can also use this word to describe a type of sore throat. And if you know you missed the men, Catherine. Catherine. Is it tickle? Tickle? It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Catherine's got herself 12 points. A good start. OK, let's have question two, Tim, please. I'm a form of art. I can be large or small, but I'm always solid. Famous people often get ones made of me to look like them, and they may put them in public places. There is a well-known one of me looking like... Jack. Sculptures. Sculptures. Jack, sculpture is the wrong answer. It was very, very close, Jack. The answer we needed was statue. Not to worry, though, but that is 11 points to everybody else. OK, question three, Tim, please. I'm an animated TV series designed to help children learn new words. My main character is a dog who can talk after eating alphabet soup. It then talks to anyone who will listen and spends its time encouraging its best friend, a shy girl called Helen, to be more outgoing. Ooh, out of time there. Did nobody know? The answer we were looking for was Martha Speaks. Martha Speaks? No? Oh, you know now, Nina. All oh, right, OK. Well, no one buzzed in there, so nobody gets any points. Let's have question number four, please, Tim. I'm used to make music. You'll find me on a guitar, a violin or a cello. By tightening or loosening me, you can change the note I produce. Stephen. Strings. Strings is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Just beat Nina to it there. Well done, Stephen. That's nine points to you. Let's hear question five, please, Tim. I'm a place that you visit regularly. I have aisles and checkouts. You'll probably have a basket or a trolley when you come here. Some... Mm. Catherine. Supermarket. Again? Supermarket. Supermarket. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Eight points to Catherine. All right. Let's hear question number six, please, Tim. I'm a film often shown on TV. There are lots of unusual characters who set off along a yellow brick road to find a heart, a brain, some courage... Mm. Stephen. Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Eight points to Stephen. Well played. OK, let's have question seven, please, Tim. You can find me in the United States of America. I have prominent fangs and I eat small creatures such as mice and birds. A bite from me could be fatal and... <clears throat> Nina. Is it a vampire? A vampire. It's the wrong answer, Nina. The answer we were looking for was rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. So everybody else gets ten points. Not to worry, Nina, sometimes it just pays to wait a little bit longer to get a bit more of the clues. Never mind. Let's have question eight, Tim, please. I'm a summer fruit. I grow mainly in the northern hemisphere. I'm red and I have my seeds on the outside. I'm an excellent source of vitamin C. I got... Jack. Strawberry. Strawberry. It's the right answer. Well done. Jack's got himself eight points there. Well played. OK, let's have question number nine, Tim, please. People are always glad to see me, and you would enjoy having me. I'm a sign of happiness or gladness. I may appear when you hear something funny or when a pleasing thing happens. Stephen. A smile. Smile is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> How about a smile on that, Stephen? Yeah, he's pleased with himself. All right, Stephen gets 11 points. Well played. Stephen, that was your last life, so you're frozen out for this last question. All right, question number 10, Tim, please. I'm a Scottish actor and have the same first name as a famous footballer called Beckham. I'm usually on your TV screens on a Saturday. Mm. Catherine. David Tennant. David Tennant. Came in quite early there. But it's the right answer. Well done. Catherine gets six points. And that brings us to the end of round number one. Who waited the longest and who picked up the most points? I'm not sure. 
There's only one way to find out. Players, leave your pods and please enter the drop zone. Tim's been keeping score. I can reveal that the first person safe, definitely through to round number two, is... Stephen. Well done, Stephen. Well played. OK, Stephen is safe. The next person joining him in round number two is... Catherine. Well done, Catherine. <laughs> Nina and Jack remain. OK. The person leaving us and about to take a dunk in the gunk is... Nina! Nina, I'm sorry to see you go, but it's goodbye. See you later, Nina. There she goes! Oh, oh. oh she's swimming. She's happy. Oh. oh, she loves it. Jack, a bit of a close call for you out there on the drop zone. So I was going. All right, Jack. Well, let's get cracking. It's time for round number two. This one's called Watch and Wait. It's different from round number one, but we use the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need to answer the question. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, You'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you'll get eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll replay the clue and give your opponents a chance to swipe some points. Is everybody ready? Well, let's wait for it. All right, guys. Round two, the first category is science. Remember, we're going to hear the clock first. So, Tim, let's start it, please. Important to keep an eye on each other, as well as the clock. And remember, the longer you wait, the more points you get, the more of the clue that, that you'll hear. <coughs> Catherine in first. Catherine, stop the clock at 13 seconds. Catherine, you'll hear 13 seconds worth of clue, and then I'll ask you for your answer. Let's start them, Tim, please. I'm something you have almost all of the time. You can see me, but you can't feel me. I'm always with you in the light, but I disappear in the dark. I'm about the same size as you, but can be bigger or smaller, depending on the time of day. You can... You look like you might know the answer there, Catherine. What do you think it is? Is it a shadow? Shadow. Very good. It's the right answer. <laughs> well played. OK, our second category is general knowledge. OK? Tim, start the clock. Keep watching each other. <coughs> oh. Jack was in first. Stephen was just going for the buzzer. Not to worry. Jack, here come your clues. Although I'm a single item, I come as a pair. I like to think of myself as quite a sharp character, though I can be a bit cutting. I make nice clean lines when you use me. And Jack, do you know the answer? Is it a pen? Pen. It's the wrong answer, Jack. Right. That means we're going to restart the clues and give Stephen and Catherine a chance to swipe some points. So, Tim, let's restart them, please. If you try to tear something, you'll make a very rough job of what I do better. Ooh, nobody came in there. The answer we were looking for was scissors. So nobody gets any points on that. OK, our third category is things that move. Tim, start the clock, please. Remember, the longer you wait, the more clue that you'll get. <coughs> Stephen, stop the clock at nine seconds. Let's see those clues. I am a vehicle used to travel from one place to another. Famous movie versions of me are Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Lightning McQueen. I usually have... Oh, you don't have bus, Stephen. What's your answer? A car. Car. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> All right. The fourth category is the big wide world. 
Tim, start the clock. <coughs> Stephen was in first. Nine seconds. Let's have the clues. I'm a country. I'm part of the United Kingdom. The UK's highest mountain is one of my features. The Loch Ness Monster is one of my legendary residents. Stephen, what's your answer? Scotland. Scotland is correct. Well done. <laughs> Stephen gets nine points. Well played. Our fifth category is general knowledge. Tim, start the clock, please. Good watching of each other going on. <coughs> Ooh, Stephen just in first. I think everyone went at the same time there. Stephen, you stopped the clock at 11 seconds. Let's have the clues. I'm a precious stone. I'm very beautiful. Ladies like to wear me as part of a necklace or ring, especially if they're getting married. I'm the hardest known naturally occurring substance in the world. I'm measured in carat. Stephen, what's your answer? A diamond. Diamond. This was your last life. Well spent, it's the right answer. Well done, Stephen. Got yourself 11 points. So Stephen's used up all three lives. He's frozen out for this final question. The category's food. Tim, start the clock. <coughs> Catherine was in first. She stopped the clock at nine seconds. Here come your clues, Catherine. I'm normally red. At least I am when I'm ready to eat or cook. Sometimes people think I'm a vegetable, but I'm actually a fruit. I can be chopped, sliced or fried. You look confident, Catherine. What's the answer? Is it a tomato? Tomato is correct. Well done. <laughs> Catherine bags nine points. All right. That's the end of round two. Who waited the longest? Who picked up the most points? It's time to find out. Players, please leave your pods and enter the drop zone. OK. The first person safe is... Stephen! Well done, Stephen. Stephen's through to round number three. OK. Two remain. The person... Catherine, it was between you and Jack. Was it a bit nerve-wracking out there? Um, yeah, I was quite nervous. What's it like when you're sort of looking down? It's quite wobbly, so yeah. and you can hear all the bubbles going, so it's really nerve-wracking. Oh. Well, this is a totally different round. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when your opponent will buzz in with their answer. Now, you've got three time slot options. Let's look at them. Between one and five seconds? Six to ten seconds, or eleven to fifteen seconds. Now, of course, your opponent can't see your prediction. And in this round, the seconds don't match the points, it's the best of five. So, if your prediction's correct, and they come in with the right answer within your time, you get a point. If they get the right answer outside of your predicted time slot, they get the point. So, you guys know the rules, you've seen the possible time slots, it's now time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. The person that waited the longest over the first two rounds was Stephen. So, Stephen, you can decide whether you want to predict first or answer first. What do you want to do? Uh, predict first. Predict first, OK. The first category is words. Words, Catherine. So I'm not How really are you sure. on English? Well, I think I'm quite good at it. OK. So, 
I think I'll do quite good on this question. You're not giving much away, are you? Uh, not really, no. Well, Stephen, she says she's OK. Are you ready to make a prediction? OK, press the button when you're ready. That's very good. OK, there's Stephen's prediction. Here come your clues on words. I'm something that costs nothing to do. You just need two lips. Steam trains have one. If you have a tin one or a penny one, you can play tunes. Football referees always have one. They blow it to either start or stop play. And... <coughs> oh, in at 13 seconds. What's the answer, Catherine? Is it a whistle? Whistle is correct. Stephen predicted you would come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You're in at 13. With the right answer, Stephen gets a point. <laughs> well played, Stephen. A good start. The second category is food. And, Catherine, you're going to be predicting. But before you do, Stephen, if you go out uh, to eat to a restaurant, where would you go? What type of food would you go for? Uh, probably Italian, like pasta or something. All right. Well, who's to say what the question's going to be? But he likes Italian food, Catherine. OK, there's the prediction for us all to see. Of course, Stephen can't see that. Stephen, you can buzz in at any time. Here come your clues. I'm edible and come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I'm particularly associated with Italy and like to be covered in sauce. You can buy me dried or fresh. Sometimes I'm orange. Oh, in at 10 seconds, what's the answer, Stephen? Is it pasta? Pasta. It's right. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Catherine, you said he'd come in between 11 and 15. He came in at 10 with a correct answer. So Stephen gets another point. Well done. Now, Stephen, it's your turn to predict. The category is objects. Now, Catherine, objects could be anything, couldn't it? Mm, yeah, mm. I'm not sure if I'm going to be good or bad at because it could be anything. It really could, couldn't it? It's a difficult one to judge, Stephen, but do you think you might be able to make a prediction? Oh, he's going for it. OK, there's Stephen's prediction. Here come your clues. I'm small and round. I was traditionally a game played in the school playground. I'm also the name of the game. I'm usually made of glass with coloured streaks in. Bigger ones are usually worth more than smaller ones. My name sounds like a type of stuff. What's the answer? Is it a marble? Marble. It's the right answer. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Stephen said you'd come in between 6 and 10. You came in with the right answer at 13. Catherine, you get a point. Well played. OK. Our fourth category is nature. Nature. Are you going to be good on this one, Stephen? Oh, I'm brilliant. I know everything. Everything. Oh, very confident. Sounds like this guy's been on the odd nature walk. Catherine, would you make your prediction when you're ready, please? OK. Here come your clues on nature. I'm a black and white bird. On land, I seem clumsy, and my walk is more of a waddle. But in water, I'm swift and graceful. The biggest type of me is called an emperor. You'll find me at the South Pole. <coughs> Stephen, in at 12 seconds, what's the answer? Penguin. Penguin is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Catherine, you said he'd come in between 11 and 15. He did, so you get the point. <laughs> this question is the decider. The category is objects again. All right. Stephen, you're predicting. Catherine, it's a sort of the same as last time. Is your general knowledge quite good? Um, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> OK, all right. Stephen, do you think you're ready to make a prediction? Yep. All right. Tim, let's play the clues on objects, please. I'm made of a piece of fabric stretched between springs on a frame. Sometimes the material is rubbery. I'm used in a gymnastic sport in the Olympics. People bounce on me for fun or in competitions. If you're very lucky, you might... Catherine, your answer, please. Is it a mat? Mat? It's the wrong answer, Catherine. Let's look at the prediction. Ooh, Stephen said you'd come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You came in at 14 seconds. So, Stephen, to secure this point, you need to get the question right. What do you think the answer is? A trampoline. Trampoline. It's correct, Stephen. Well saved. 
three points to two points, Stephen. That means you are through to the final round. And unfortunately, Catherine, we've got to say goodbye to you, but you've been absolutely fantastic. Catherine, if you could leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. You've been a superstar player. We'll see you soon. There she goes! Oh! This is like you top. Time to play our final game. Wait a minute. Come on in, mate. You have been cool and calm throughout this whole game, Stephen. Thank you. You've been I've, great. Yeah, I've tried my best in this. Well, this is your final challenge, OK? You're going to hear a series of questions. Each of them are 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's easy. Look at this. Skills. Yes! See? If I can do it, you can do it. Now, if you make it over, in 40 seconds or more, you'll be taking home one of today's star prizes. Now, the clock's going to begin when I hear your first answer. All right, I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Very best of luck. Tim, let's begin. I'm a useful book consisting of days and dates. People usually get a new one of me at the start of each new year. A diary. Some... That's right, move forward. I'm a fuel that's made in oil refineries. In America, Petrol. I'm called gas... That's right. I'm a science fiction TV series and a number of films. One of the main characters is a pointy-eared alien called Spock. The Klingons are the villains, and the goodies are led by Captain Kirk. Pass. Pass. Next question. I'm a brass musical instrument. I have a unique means of changing the pitch of a note. Guitar. This is done using a... Oh, it's the wrong answer. Next I'm a one. fictional group of children who have had many exciting adventures. Julian, Dick, Anne, George and Timmy the dog are all in the gang. Pass. I was Next great. question. I'm a word that could describe rubbish, bric-a-brac or odds and ends with no real value. Though you may find shops trying to sell me. My name rhymes with the word skunk. Your mum might say I clutter up your Junk. room. Junk is right, move forward. I'm probably best known for being a ball-shaped model of the earth that you can spin around Glow. and look at all... That's right, move forward. I'm a breed of dog. I'm agile and very good at obedience tests. I have Labrador. a dense curly... Oh, incorrect. I'm Next a sportsman. One. My first name is Andrew, but people are... Oh, no! We know what that means. Help me out, audience. Three, two, one! Swim, Stephen! Over here, mate! <laughs> Don't worry, you're not gonna go home empty-handed. You get to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Give it up for Stephen! <laughs> Another great show. Join us next time on Wait For It. Round one was uh, quite challenging but being the first in the country is rather fun. I want an intergalactic space bouncer and I'm going to bounce on it all day. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the CBBC office, where today, me and Hacker, or con Dr. Hacker, are conducting an experiment. It's a scientific experiment. It's gonna... Not for your ear. What do you mean? I can be a scientist. No. But I've got the scientific coat on. Uh, OK, Ian. What? You are a talented. Thank you, Dr. Hacker. That's OK, Dr. Ian. No problem, Dr. Hacker. OK, Dr. Ian. Dr. Hacker. Come on now. OK. Uh, yes, today me and Hacker are conducting an experiment. The experiment is the effects of no milky brew yeah. on a test subject. Hacker, yeah. I've got your findings here. OK. They are one picture, but they're rather thorough. That's me there with no milky brew. How would you say I rated on the milky brew scale? Let's have a look. 
You can be properly wound up, irritated, just fine, relaxed, or super chilled. I will tell you, you are irritated. Irritated. There we go. Irritated. Okay. But I mean, hacker, this experiment's all fine and well, mate, but yeah. we need more test subjects, surely. Well, Who can we use? Huh? Here. Well, I protect you. Wake up, dear. Damn. Them? Yeah. Well, if you want to get involved with mine and Hacker, Dr. Hacker, Dr. Dr. Hacker, Dr. Hacker, Dr. Hacker, my apologies, Dr. Hacker, our That's experiment, okay, Dr. Weir. send a picture of yourself with an empty mug with no Milky Brew. Maybe you love Milky Brew and you're properly wound up by it, yeah. or maybe you hate Milky Brew. Eh, it's disgusting, it's for your mum and your dad, and you're super chilled out. Whatever it is, send it in to...